Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? It is a Friday morning. Friday morning, indeed it is. What is it? It is, oh, it's June 16th. Already, my friends, June 16th. This year's about halfway over. Oh, my goodness. Time is flying by, ain't it? The time is flying by. Man, June 16th. Wow, 2023, can y'all believe that? This year is about, is halfway, that's unreal. It is unreal how fast time is flying by. Mm, mm, mm. Well folks, we are off adventuring another day, another day of uh, going to work highlight of my life the highlight of my life sorry I got quiet for just a second had to get my speed up car right on my bumper. Alright, let's roll on. We had a vehicle ride through the neighborhood. I had to, I had to check, I had to make sure I could see who they were, see what they were doing. They couldn't find out it was it was it was it was one of those guys that wears those uniforms with a little badge on their little chest there. Oh, cops, I mean. <laughs> cops riding through the neighborhood. Uh, anyway, folks, we rolled a strong down the out road this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Mr. Jimmy over here in the Ori community. Uh, located right smack dab in the middle of Ori County. Uh-huh. Old Reed County, which is located in the upper right-hand corner of the state of South Carolina, right along the east coast of the United States of America. On this big, beautiful planet is where we all reside. We are here together, my friends, on this planet, and that's it. That's right. That's right. So it is amazing how so many, so many civilizations, so many uh cultures and so many religions and so many politics and so many things are out in the world trying to whew, trying to take over i don't know folks i'm just a simple backwoods country boy over here creature born in the wild <laughs> uh grew up on the farmlands and uh Always lived out here in the flatlands of the Carolinas, always. And uh, do love to venture to the mountains every once in a while, to the different landscapes of this big, beautiful planet. But I am kind of right here, located right here all my life in the Old Reed community, trying to survive in this world. Folks, if this is the first time you've stumbled across these videos or, or my video or my channel or anything, by all means, on the bottom right-hand corner, click that subscribe button. Jump aboard my train. I would love to have you ride along with me through life. Now, my videos are not all that spectacular. I don't try to teach nobody how to do anything. This isn't an educational video. This isn't, uh, uh, well, I don't know. That's what kind of video it is. A not all new video. video. <laughs> Pretty much, folks, what I do is get on here in the morning time and I just talk to the camera every morning on my way to work. And you would not believe how much it helps just to put a camera up and just talk to it on your way to work. Now, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at the highway. In the morning time, it's the best time for me to talk to the camera because I can stay focused because I have no distractions because I'm focused right on the highway and watching what I'm doing. And I ain't got a crowd of traffic or anything uh, distracting me and stuff. 
and my camera is mounted up on the windshield up there. It's, it's actually my cell phone mounted on the windshield up there videoing. And I'm just making this video just to give you something to look at while I'm talking because it's dark in the car here. You would not be able to see me. I'm not going to do like some of these some of these vloggers do with the with a light on it in the vehicle because I need to be able to see outside the vehicle. I don't need no light shining in my face or I'll, I might not make it through the morning. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, folks, we rolling strong this morning and I'm happy to have you here. Shout out to each and every one of you, especially my subscribers. Have mercy. Thank you so much for being a subscriber of my channel. I'm not here for popularity reasons, so don't get me wrong. I'm not here for popularity reasons. I'm not here to collect fans or anything like that. I am merely here to talk to the camera, to help myself, to get myself motivated, to get myself in a positive attitude, and to hopefully, in some way, I'm hoping maybe I can bring a smile to your face. Maybe I can make you laugh, you know, hey, bring some joy in your heart, you know. I ain't the smartest fella in the world, and uh, by all means, I am nowhere near being any kind of smartness. I'm just an ordinary backwoods country boy trying to survive in this world and do the best I can with what I got. And I don't try to live above my means. It takes very little for me to live. And uh, that car, I thought that car was going to come out of that intersection. It scared me. I thought I was fixing to bite that dust right there and then. You never know. You never know from one moment to the next. Live, live, live and let die. That's what I always say, folks. You know, I don't do a whole lot of planning for the future. Now, I do like set down things like, you know, goals where I would like to be, um, you know, later on in life. Or, you know, where I would like to be, who I would like to be with, who I want to spend the rest of my life with. But, you know, I do kind of, you know, set those kind of goals in my in, in in my back of my head, you know, of my direction to where I want to head to. But in reality, um, my day-to-day -day thinking, all I know is right now, right this second, right this moment. That's all I know. I could be, I could, I could be dead in five minutes from now. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is guaranteed. My life is not guaranteed. My heart is not guaranteed to keep beating the rest of the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nothing, nothing is guaranteed. So, that's the way I look at life in general. I live for right now, right this moment. While you're listening to this video, or while you're listening to my voice, right now. Or if not listening to it now because I'm recording this and I'll upload it at 12 o'clock tonight. But... You're hearing my voice. Now, since I'm putting it on video, and this is another reason that I video, the reason, the, the, by me putting my voice on video, you can look at this video as much as you like. You can watch it as much as you like. You can listen to my voice as much as you like. But if I don't make it through the day, but I do, if I don't make it, after I upload this video, yeah, put it that way, because I'll upload it this evening when I get home from work, so God forbid anything happen between now and then. It might be my last video. This might be the last time you hear my voice. This might be the last time you hear my voice. Think, let that sink in. Think about that. This might be the last time you ever hear my voice. Let that sink in, my friends. So don't go through life being mad or angry or anything. Don't let anything bother you. Don't make you feel, you know, uh, I don't know, different things. Just keep in mind that this moment only comes around once in a lifetime. This moment that I'm talking to you only comes around once in a lifetime and this is that once in a lifetime now tomorrow if I make it through the day and I make it another day 
then you'll get another day of hearing my voice and all that kind of stuff. But tomorrow's not guaranteed. And besides, tomorrow's Saturday, so I probably won't be doing this right here. I only make these videos when I'm driving to work. So if I don't make a video, it means I did not go to work. Or the video had too much drama or negatives in it and I, I deleted it. That does happen from time to time. That does happen. I think that happened yesterday. If I get any drama going on or if I have any difficulties with the camera, put it that way. Sometimes my camera runs out of memory. Sometimes I'll start a video and I'll get to talking and then I'll glance up there at the, at the phone on the window and I'll notice that it's already stopped. And I usually just delete whatever I put on it. <clears throat> so, if I don't post a video, it's either that I'm not working that day, or I didn't go to work that morning, or something's happened to me. God forbid. Anyway, folks, you know, I do love having having you all subscribe to my channel and, and uh, like I said, I'm not here for popularity reasons. I just like to to leave a mark on the world of positive thoughts. Um, once I'm gone, I'm gone. It won't matter to me because I'll be gone. But maybe my videos left behind, maybe they'll help somebody. You never know. Well, as long as YouTube keeps them up, that's for sure. As long as YouTube keeps the videos on YouTube. Anyway, folks, that's why I try to get my subscribers up. I want as many people subscribe as possible. Even if you don't watch all my videos, it doesn't matter. You know, as long as you're a subscriber, that means, you know, that you're kind of holding on to me. You know, if you ever want to check out my videos later on, you won't have to search because you'll have me subscribed. You don't have to watch them every day or every time I post or anything like that. I just... I just got to where I'm a daily vlogger. Is that way you want to put it? I guess that's the word I should use. I'm a daily vlogger in the morning time, doing my little talk therapy, talk video in the morning on my way to work. That's what I do. I'm not on here trying to change the world. I don't know. I'm just on here having a good time and having fun because I've always been a, you know, a, a videoer. I always like to video and take pictures and capture things at the moment because they don't come around again. So I've always tried to capture moments. Capture, you know, like when you're taking pictures of your kids when they're growing up. You take pictures of your kids because you know they'll never be that age again. They'll never be that little again. They'll never have that that little sweet uh, baby face uh, again, you know. You try to take pictures and capture the moment and you have a photo album, or you have photos you go back and look at. Same thing with me with videos on my YouTube. I make these videos to save moments in time. You can go back to the very first video and you can look, watch videos and you can watch different things about my life. You watch different things of my attitude. See if my attitude changes from day to day. Just, just a legacy of videos, that's all I do. Just make a legacy of videos. It's a hobby. Put it that way. It's a hobby. On my hobbies, I put down videography. Photography. I don't have the fancy cameras and stuff like that. I don't invest in fancy uh, high dollar equipment and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't take... It doesn't take too... It doesn't take a fancy camera to capture a moment. It just takes putting it, saving it in the right place, saving it uh, to where it doesn't get lost. I've got pictures, all of the photos that I ever took during my life. I've uh, uploaded them to digital where I have them on flash drive. Um, and I'm talking about thousands of pictures, thousands and thousands of pictures. Because, you know, paper stuff can can get caught on fire and, and, and burn in a house and stuff like that, God forbid. Um, 
course my flash drives are at home right now so that would not be a good idea <laughs> but uh I do have lots of pictures that I have I have transferred everything over to uh digital that's the new thing so anyway folks I'm just telling you a little bit about my life a little what's going on with me and everything now, I know this morning I ain't really talking about the jumbled up stuff in my head that's usually what my videos are about in the morning time just get all flush all the crazy stuff and all the stuff off the top of my head so I can get focused when I get to work but I didn't really got a bunch of stuff on my mind or on my head or whatever uh, that's one good thing about me that I'm able to do I don't I don't constantly think about stuff. I I uh, I can't let it deter deteriorate my attitude, my health, and everything. If somebody's mad at me, I, I you know I'm sorry, but hey, and then I move on. I don't I don't I don't sit there and just constantly beat on it or anything. I just I have to keep myself mentally healthy boom that's it so anyway folks just keep happy thoughts in your head that's the thing about it you know it's just a just 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 a way to just stay healthy also because when you worry about stuff here's this intersection right here and a car <laughs> oh, every morning i come with that stop so i have to stop and wait because there's a car coming i hear in the middle of nowhere and i won't pass nobody else on the roof but always when I come with that stop sign. Oh, there comes someone. Anyway, folks, we rolling strong on Enoch. No, Enoch. Oh, my God. Long, long time from there. We are rolling strong on Cates Bay Highway. Destination uh, behind the rich man's house. <laughs> Destination is the truck yard. That's what we call it, the truck yard, because that's where... That's where... The company I work with, or work for, parks the big trucks. We call it, the, they call it the truck yard. And it's located right behind the CEO of the company that I work for. CB. Anyway, folks, the Rolling Stone this morning, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me a little ways. I hope you learned a little bit about me. I know I didn't talk a whole lot about a whole lot. <laughs> but I do appreciate having you listening to everything that I say. Like I say, I'm sitting here talking to a video camera. Ain't nobody in the truck here with me. I'm just sitting here all by myself. And I'm able to just spew the words right out. Just talk away. In the comfort of my own vehicle, in the comfort of by myself here, I'm able to just talk about whatever is on the top of my head. Whatever's on the tip of my tongue, it is just, there it is, boom. So I do try to, uh, try to, uh, keep a focus <laughs> on what I'm doing. But anyway, folks, like I say, these are just my morning videos back and forth to work. I appreciate y'all watching. I do, I do, I do, I do. Do share my videos. You know, there's a like button there that you can click that like button. I know I got a lot of people probably just watch the videos and that's it. And they don't, you know, react or anything. But I do have some people that react to my videos. They say hey to me. They, they ask me a question. Oh, my goodness. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. I know I don't reply or respond to your messages quickly. I know it takes me a while. I apologize for that. It's just that when I make my videos and I do my stuff or whatever, I'm not actually going on YouTube to, you know, too much really other than watching videos. But usually like this video, you know, I will upload it. I will upload it to YouTube, you know, at the end of the day. And it's usually uploading, and I'm usually doing something else. But it is what it is. 
Anyway, folks, we're almost to work, and I need to slow it down because there's critters out here that can make your day turn into a nightmare. Yes, indeed. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a good day. It's Friday, TGIF Friday. Got Saturday and Sunday off to enjoy. Uh, I love a weekend. See, we take we confined to this work cab all week long. That's why we're so excited about the weekends. You know, people that don't that don't stay don't people that are not confined to a job Monday through Friday. When they hear you say you're excited about the weekend, they're like, you got seven days a week you should be excited about. Those are the individuals that aren't trapped into a uh, you know a job having dedication and responsibilities and all that kind of stuff. That's the difference. It's the being the, having to work. You you live for the weekend. That's all that's all I get. During the week I only get two hours to myself. This little time I take going to work in the morning, it's not that I can really do anything, but I can talk to the camera. Being able to talk to the camera does relieve stress and, and a lot of things and helps me get a lot of things off my mind but it's not like a free time to be able to do something or whatnot a lot of times if the weekend comes around and it rains it knocks you out of being able to go out and enjoy doing things it really it really breaks your heart it does it really breaks my heart because you know i'm trapped inside the weather's nasty or either it's steaming so hot outside that it's miserable you go outside and you start your body becomes a rainforest because you're sweating so much uh, my facebook notifications are popping up from my uh good morning to everybody so let me uh check the notifications real quick and uh we'll be on our way but until then if y'all got to be out and about on the highways and byways on this big, beautiful planet, do be safe and courteous and nice. And do help somebody if you can, as long as it's safe for you to do so. And try to stay positive, my friends. And if you can't find a smile, share a smile. Brighten somebody's day. You don't know what people's going through. You know, they could be, the, they could be on the verge of suicide or ending it all or, you know, devastation could be going on right now in their life. So just always keep that in mind as you out there, you know, no matter what you're doing, uh, there's some, well, no matter how bad you have it in life, there's always somebody that's got it worse. Always keeping that in mind. It don't hurt to be nice. It doesn't hurt. And it's very rewarding. So y'all be good out there. Y'all be nice. Let's keep it real, my friends. Let's keep it real. Until next time, I love you. I appreciate you. I miss you. And until next time, this is Mr. Jimmy. Peace out, peace out.